Hello and welcome to the first in a three part series of basic kitchen drawer tutorials. In these tutorials I will aim to guide you through the basic functionality of kitchen drawer. In this first tutorial we'll learn how to open a project, how to view a project in the perspective view, how to change the point of view, how to set up the zoom functions, how to change the front model of the kitchen, how to undo and how to return to the top view. To open a project in kitchen drawer we can use file open. Alternatively we can just use the open icon on the taskbar. Once you've selected open a box will appear with all the available scenes on your computer. As you can see I have several scenes on my PC but for this one we're just going to use example one. Loading the project may take a few seconds depending on its complexity but the project will appear on the screen in top view. To view the project in perspective view navigate to the taskbar and select the realistic drawing perspective icon. Again, this can take several seconds to load, depending on complexity. You can adjust the perspective view by using the scroll bars on the bottom of the perspective view and to the right of the perspective view. Please note that this top right scroll bar adjusts the focal length as you would in a camera. You can also dynamically change the point of view by holding the right mouse button down while in the perspective window and moving your mouse. To zoom in and out while in perspective view, top view or elevation view, simply use the mouse wheel. Roll the mouse forward to zoom out and roll the mouse backwards to zoom in. You can also hold down the middle mouse button to pan. To change the front models or style of our kitchen, simply click on the generic finishes button on the taskbar. At the top right we can select our front model. This will change the style of doors that we have on our kitchen. Let's select post formed white. Next you can select the colours for all the elements within our kitchen. Front colour, which is the door colour, carcass colour, handles, worktop colour, plinth colour, light palmet colour and cornice colour. Once you have made all the selections select OK. As you can see the generic finishes of our kitchen have now been updated to the new selections. To cancel or undo the last immediate operation simply select the undo icon on the taskbar. And finally to return to the top view select the top view on the taskbar. That concludes part one of this three-part series of basic kitchen drawer tutorials. Thanks very much for watching.